Orthotics for plantar fat pad atrophy and what do we do when the fat pad wears out on the bottom of our feet? So it's a common problem that we get that as we age, the fatty pad or the cushioning section on our foot. So if we take a look at the foot model, um, if we overlay the skin and, and muscles and, and ligaments and everything on the foot, in the forefoot and the rear foot and across the whole plantar surface or the bottom of the foot, there's a, a really quite a thick fatty pad that, and its function is to cushion the foot. So we don't, obviously we don't want the bones uh, resting straight on if we're walking on concrete or a hard surface because th this would um, lead to too much shock going through the foot and you'd lead to an overuse injury. So basically what we have is under this whole surface is a, is a fatty pad just like a sheet almost like a neoprene that runs the whole, the whole distance of the foot and it can be up to you know one to two centimeters thick um, and unfortunately that <clears throat> the more repetition with walking that we do and the older that we get this fat pad is more likely to wear out um, so the fat pad can actually break the little membranes that hold the fatty pad in position and the fat can squirt out. So what, what, what that leaves us with is um, underneath the heel where we might have the fatty pad being held in position, the fat can actually squirt out to the sides and um, then the bone starts to contact the ground. <clears throat> now this is more common that we get plantar fat pad atrophy in diabetics or people with connective tissue disorders like, like lupus and scleroderma. Um, it's also more common in people with higher arched feet. So if we really exaggerate the arched foot, we can see that this portion of the foot and this portion of the foot are going to bear much more weight when we're walking. Um, so we're more likely to wear out the fatty pad with just direct mechanical force, even if we don't have any underlying systemic disease. Uh, and we're more likely to get plantar fat pad atrophy in these positions. You can often see it in, in elderly patients with um, you can see in their forefoot under each one of the metatarsal heads where they bear weight the fat pad has degenerated and we get corns and calluses. You can see that in our in our YouTube shorts that we do um, callus removal in these areas in particular. Um, so what do we do to either prevent plantar fat pad atrophy or treat plantar fat pad atrophy? So what we do, the first thing that we try is um, prevention is obviously better than, than trying to fix it after the fact. But if we use a soft arch supportive orthotic intersole with um, obviously we've got the cushioning positions in the right areas where they get the, the highest pressure in the feet. So this, this orthotic intersole is designed around supporting the arch. So if we can take some of the weight or even the pressure out under the foot, so we don't have any areas of really high pressure here and here, but it's all through the arch. This can help to reduce the degradation of the plantar fat pad. So that really helps not to wear it out too quickly. The other thing we do is we use a soft orthotic inner sole like this. This is the one we use most in the clinic, the Ergonics Ultra Soft. Um, and what it does, it supports the arch, but it's also got this really nice cushioning. So this actually tries to do the work of the plantar fat pad. So we've got it right down to the front. It's nice and soft all the way from heel to toe. Um, and so as your foot heel strikes and moves forward under the toes, it cushions the entire length of your foot and will help to take some of the strain off the plantar fat pad so you won't get as much degeneration or wear and tear on the plantar fat pad and it'll last you longer in your life. Um, if you've already got plantar fat pad atrophy, we do the same thing. We just try and replace the work that was being done by the plantar flat pad fat pad in your foot rather um, we try and do it with the orthotic inner sole now we use this in cooperation with a great uh, walking shoe so we want to have a shoe with a really nice midsole so if we have a this is a Brooks adrenaline so if we have a shoe with a beautiful sort of soft um, but yet not too soft midsole that will actually help to do uh, quite a bit of the cushioning of the of the that your plantar fat pad would usually be doing uh, and then if we also put a soft insole in there to hold your arch up and cushion the foot even further inside the shoe this replaces the uh, the job of the plantar fat pad and you'll maintain the little bit of plantar fat pad that you have if you're working on a job site we have a arch support um work boot with a an orthotic insole built in um, to do exactly this and this will just mean that if you're uh, not elderly so if you're a younger patient we try and get you in the right footwear to cushion and support your feet before the fat pad wears out so you don't ever have to deal with the problem. Uh, a good 
method to see if you're actually going to suffer from plantar fat patterns, look at your parents' feet, look at your grandparents' feet, and usually you would have inherited your feet from either your mother or father's side, and you're going to inherit one of the, either mum or dad's feet. So looking into the future is just looking at your parents' or grandparents' feet. So that's basically what we do uh, for plantar fat pad atrophy. We support and cushion the feet and try and prevent it. Um, if you have any questions on this, please don't hesitate to ask, but we look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video.